You know what's really, really funny? My small apartment here, this is actually furnished. None of this stuff is mine that's in this apartment. Little couch, um, you know, my bed and stuff like that. But look at this, look at this. Out here, that's, if you can see in the distance there, that's the beach right there. So this soy is only maybe 100 meters long. But what's really uh, a trip about that, and what's kind of funny, is if we were in, let's say, Santa Monica or Miami Beach, for example, we'd be looking at, you know, 5,000, 6,000 for an apartment. Here I'm paying 150 bucks a month in Thailand, which is just, to you guys, to guys, I mean, to guys that I grew up with, they literally think I'm lying when I tell them I'm living this cheap. But that's not really the, you know, the point of this video. You know, I'm living in Thailand in a third world country, slumming it out here, and I just absolutely love it that way. Because for me, less is more. Let me explain. Back in the States, um, there was a point, you guys know I do music production, there was a point where I was running a studio in San Francisco and I had a Mac G4 tower, I had you know drum machines like this, um, keyboards, and basically I couldn't go anywhere with this stuff. I've since downsized, I've got you know, a little keyboard that fits in a backpack and laptop I can run everything off of and make YouTube videos anywhere I go. So I'm location independent, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now you, you may have your UPS job, you've got a couple cars, you've got a house, and um, you've got all the top of the line pots and pans in your kitchen, and you're at home cooking your home cooked meals, and that's fine if that's what you like to do. But ultimately to me, you're a slave to all that stuff. To me, I like to be able to move around. I like to be able to, you know, go, if I'm, I'm in Thailand right now, if I wanna go to Vietnam and go to the beach next weekend, I can do so for less than $100 round trip flights. You know, it's very, very simple. By the way, if you guys need any help doing this stuff and putting this stuff together, hit me up at jeffreypeterson.com, link down below. I can help you guys out um, getting over here, you know, rethinking things, uh, what your life would look like over here. We can really talk it through and get you all set up. Okay, guys, happy to help. Um, really, man, the thing is all of these possessions you've really been brainwashed to desire this stuff. We don't wake up in the morning thinking, oh, I need that new Rolex watch, I need a, a Louis Vuitton bag, a Burberry scarf, a $300 Burberry scarf, do you really, really need that? I mean, for me, any purchase that I make, I'm, I would, I mean, I would purchase an iPhone because I make money off the iPhone. I'm able to do my YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, which promotes my business, which brings me clients, and I'm making money off of that. So anything, any purchase that I'm considering making, I'm always looking at the ROI on that purchase. I'm not just purchasing stuff willy-nilly. Now, do I splurge on some coffee at Starbucks? Yes, I do every once in a while because that's my little creature comfort that I like. You may have your little creature comforts, but I'm not gonna get the big house, the big car that requires maintenance and requires me to be stuck in one place with that. And I mean, are we doing this just to impress other people? other people that don't matter, other people that don't really care about you, other people that have their skewed view of reality, other people that just talk just to hear themselves talk. I was with someone last week. We were having a conversation. I don't know how it came up, but uh, the guy said that Jordan Peterson was a one trick pony, okay? First of all, he's discrediting uh, 
the great psychologist Jordan Peterson's philosophies, who's probably one of the greatest speakers, uh, one of the greatest guys to, uh, you know, present his ideas in an argument and one of the greatest philosophers of our time. Also discrediting and talking about one of my family members right in front of me. So this guy didn't even have the foresight to understand he's not only discrediting one of the greatest philosophers of our time, but also talking smack about my family in my presence. He didn't have the, the, the uh, situational awareness to even understand what was going on. Believe me, guys, I wanted to, uh, if, if he was close enough to me, I would have given him a swift kick in the nuts, but he was sitting across the table from me. You know what I mean? So, and then after that, he got, he had the idea to call Gary V a loudmouth. I mean, come on guys, really, really. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous how we can sit with these people, listen to them just spew word vomit, and then want to buy possessions to impress people like this. I mean, it's just, it just makes no sense at all. Once, once you realize that you, everything you do in your life is really just for you and up to you, whew, that will just lift the weight off your shoulders and you will see things with new vision. The whole world is gonna be crystal clear, maybe an 8K, 10K, whatever you wanna call it, you're seeing in new colors and new ways of viewing things and new ways seeing your life and what's important to you. I mean, this is serious stuff, guys. For me, location independence is everything. Being able to get up, get out, go where I want. I mean, am I a millionaire? I would, I mean, I'm not a millionaire financially, but do I live like a millionaire? To me, being a millionaire or what we, let's, let's not put a number on it. We call this FU money. Do I have FU money? Yes, I do because I do what I want when I want. And to me, that is priceless. That's what life is all about. If I want sushi, I can get on a plane and fly to Japan tomorrow and go get sushi in Osaka with my Japanese girlfriend who's there waiting for me right now. If I want some pad kapow, I can jump downstairs. I got a lady to cook it for me right now. If I wanna go to, to, to the beach in Da Nang, I'm hopping on the flight for less than a hundred bucks to Vietnam, beautiful, beautiful thing. And if you are still in the rat race, guys, it's a never ending cycle. Um, if you're making more money, more money, more money, it's a never ending cycle of an upgrade. If you're getting a Honda Civic this year, then you upgrade it to the Lexus next year, upgrade it to the Mercedes next year, you're stuck with that, you finally get to the Mercedes level, you finally get to the Bentley level for it to only break down on you and depreciate in value at the end of the day anyway, guys. You guys want to be accumulating assets that appreciate over time. And one thing, guys, that none of us can escape, none of us can escape death. And to me, do you really want to spend your time accumulating these possessions, buying a big house that you just have to maintenance, garden, repair a roof, things like this? Or would you rather get in a $150 a month, fully furnished apartment, 100 meters from the beach, being able to get up and move wherever, whenever I want, that's the life that I want. Once again, implementing the policy from the movie Heat. If you can't, I always, he says, always be prepared to walk away from any situation 30 seconds or less. That, my friends, is true freedom. Less is more. These are my reasons why. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you guys have any questions or need any uh, help in your relocation process, feel free to get in touch with me. Don't forget these words, guys. Less is more.
Peace. Love.